Hi, my name is Daniel, and in this video, I'll give you a brief introduction of the violin. To start off, violins come out in a variety of sizes starting from 1 16th all the way up to 4 fourths. To see which violin is size is fit for you, the best way is to compare it to your arm's length. You can do this by extending your arms and then checking if your fingers can curl over the scroll right here. The violin I'm using is the full-size violin, also known as four fourths. Now I'll talk about the parts on the violin. So first, you can see the four strings right here, the fingerboard, the bridge, the chin rest, and the four pegs to tune each of your strings. And finally, the two F holes, which generate the sound. To tune your instrument, you typically use a tuner like this one or an app on your phone and you just play each of the strings and see if the arrow matches the note you're trying to play. And make sure when you start tuning, you tune the A string first so that you can tune your other strings relating to what the A string sounds like. Now, after you tune all four of your strings, you can start playing notes other than G, D, A, E by using your fingers and placing it above the strings like this. To actually produce sound and play on your instrument, you need a bow, and the bow has a stick and hair like here, like so, and the hair is made out of horse hair. To start, you need to tighten the screw by twisting it to the right, like this, and then once it's like, once it's tightened, you can actually play your violin, like this. And lastly, when you're done practicing and playing, and before you put it in your case, you gotta make sure you loosen the bow by twisting the screw again in the other direction. So today we talked about the basics of the violin and the bow. So in the next video, I will talk about how you actually hold your violin and your bow so you can actually start playing your instrument. Thanks for watching.